Hey guys, how's it going? It's really weird not saying hey planty people. I bought some plants and I'm really excited to show you guys. I bought some succulents, little variegated bear claws. And I also have two orchids that I'm going to be potting up today. I haven't bought new plants in a while and I'm actually vlogging right now too. So you might see a little bit of snippets of these later on down the road. I'm really excited because I bought this nice little shallow pot for these little succulents that I got. I have never seen a variegated bear paws in person before, so I was stoked <laughs> whenever I saw these. And I was that person, and I bought all of them that I saw. I know, cringe, you know, I hate myself too for doing it, but I also kinda love it <laughs> at the exact same time. So it is what it is. Um, I have a few, few little casualties, not too many, but I also, in this one, there's like, a few like really dead and decaying ones so I'm gonna go ahead and deal with that real quick. Nice comfy sleep pants coming in clutch. I'm going to take out all like the nasty leaves that are in there and they're like dead and decaying. I didn't see these. Whenever I was in the excitement of finding these plants. Look at those baby paws. Kind of hard to see. I'm going to try and prop those and see what happens, you know? I mean, the worst thing that can happen is that they don't survive. The best thing that can happen is that they do. I don't really love the potting mix this is in. I'm gonna open this over my little trash bag that I'm using. Yeah, I kind of wanted to break this apart. I'm not a huge purse fan of like breaking this stuff all up, but I just want to make for sure that there's nothing like crazy going on in here that would cause all the decay. Oh, another baby. Wow, this must just be a really, really fragile, fragile, fragile plant. Okay, that's the most that I'm really gonna do to it. I just wanted to check and make for sure nothing looked crazy. And this is what we're left with, which is pretty sad, like a paw and a half <laughs> on that plant. So I'm just going to put a little bit of soil in here and start her off. I'm not a huge succulent person. So if I like a succulent, I have to like really like it. And I've kind of, wanted and when i say kind of i mean i have wanted um a bear paw for a while i just never pulled the trigger on them because i just kept on hoping that i would find it in person and i did so i'm so excited that i waited instead of um chancing you know um shipping and being pawless you know <laughs> um how do i want to assort this i have no idea I want paws galore, that's for sure though. I am not <laughs> very good with aesthetics either. So I'm just going to be placing them randomly. <laughs> oh, I kind of hate that this is in here. So cringy. Poor little baby. And then I got this Kalinkoe. Maybe I'll put over here. Oh! Oh! Everything's tumbling now. Stay. And then I got this little Crassula. That just looks like little grass, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I obviously wasn't thinking a whole lot whenever I grabbed this stuff. I was like, ooh, I should get like pops of color, but I want more of, uh, you know, the bear paws. Maybe this looks better. Oh, I wish I would've got one more succulent. That would've balanced out this side, this little corner. This is what I got so far. Oh. They're all falling down and more casualties. That was a bad one anyway, so. These paws are so freaking delicate. Makes sense because they're so chubby in there. On these little, they've got these like little teeny tiny thin stems. So it makes sense that they would be so incredibly fragile. Just going to add some soil where there's space. <laughs> I mean, can't really explain any more than that. Pretty self-explanatory, I think, I think. I don't like my, to get mine too. Like I've made another one of these type of uh, succulent arrangements before, and I don't like to get too um, densely packed. Like I like to give my plants a little bit of room to grow, you know? That way I don't have to repot them anytime soon because god knows whenever i'd get back and get to that all right i adjusted the angle a little bit and i wish i would have done that 
sooner. But <laughs> nonetheless, here we are now. This is what we look like so far. I'm just filling in. Doing my best not to completely cover the plants. <laughs> look at this little straggler. So is the ad. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you watch my um, Raymond video or not. Because I spent <laughs> quite a bit of time editing that one. I mean, it was super fun to edit, but it like literally took me hours to do. Um, anybody... It's, it's funny now that I've been editing videos for a little while now. I can tell whenever something takes a while because you just, you can see the edits, you know, if that makes any sense whatsoever. You recognize the edits and you know how time consuming certain ones can be. And especially even if you have a small edit, like putting in a lot of those edits, it can be really time consuming. So let me know in the comments down below if you got to watch that. I had a lot of fun with it. Me and my boyfriend had a freaking blast. Now I'm gonna put these other little bear paws in here so maybe they will propagate. And if they don't, they don't, but like, you know, I'd rather try, you know. All right, so now we're going to do the fun part, which is, and it's not fun, but it, for some reason to me, it's kind of therapeutic. I'm going to be removing all of the really sad roots from my orchids that I got. I mean, it just is what it is, like Home Depot and Lowe's, they just don't take great care of especially these types of plants that are, they just like, they sit in little mesh bags and they sit on a shelf and I'm sure that people forget about them all the time and don't even think to give them a little bit of a spray down. This is going to be a little bit difficult to get out. Don't lose your tags, people, because orchids are really hard to identify, at least from my experience. This one's going to be really freaking difficult. I'm going to just go ahead and start trimming it from in this basket. Now, I just like to trim off anything that looks dead, dying, broken, browned. And whenever it comes to like um, Home Depot or Lowe's plants, I get a little bit more scissor happy just because I want to make for sure that I get everything, you know? We want happy, juicy, bright green roots. because these roots have really adhered to this little basket. Even the good ones have. Well, especially the good ones have. Oh man, I have a bad feeling I'm gonna have to do some ripping and I don't like that. The plant's not gonna like that and I'm sure you guys aren't gonna be happy with that either. Oh, actually wasn't that bad. Oh, okay, cool. Got it. And that's what we're left with once we got it out of the basket. I still have a lot of trimming to do. So this is what a nice healthy root looks like right here. You can see the green on the root. That means it's alive, happy, and healthy. Okay, so this looks so, so, so much better. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But is it better? Absolutely. I'm just going to trim off some of these sad leaves so that way the plant is putting more effort into new leaves instead of trying to save the old leaves that obviously are unsalvageable. 
So he looks good and I'm gonna go ahead and trim up my other one too. I'm putting my tag with it so that I don't uh, lose track. And then I have a uh, Catalea. This is a like lemon lime or a lime sherbet is what the tag calls it. But I really don't love the soil that they put their orchids in at, at uh, Home Depot. Uh, at, obviously it's not Home Depot, it's Better Grow. Um, it could definitely be worse. What makes me more mad than anything is, let me show you. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's not what makes me mad. Like that's kind of cool, but if I can get it out of there. See, this is what makes me mad. They freaking put styrofoam on the bottom of all of their all their orchids, and I don't understand why. I mean, obviously, I think it's because or oh, my cat is so stupid. <laughs> she ran off with the pole that was for this orchid. Anyway, um, I think it. They're just doing it for drainage purposes. Wow, these roots don't look great. There's a lot of browning. Um, yeah, I think they do the styrofoam for drainage purposes. Not 100% sure, but if I had to take a guess, that would be why. Roots are, like, moist. Like, that's what they look like. It doesn't look very good, honestly. I'm just gonna go ahead and break this apart uh, so that I can see the roots really good and trim off anything that is sad. I'm also kind of like working against the clock here because uh, the sun is going down and it's my main source of light right this moment. So it looks like everything that has all the roots that have that browning on it, Ori, you have to play with your ball like right this moment but it looks like the roots that have browned are um, suffering from some root rot which is unfortunate that means that um, those will have to be trimmed off and I know it's suffering from root rot when it because whenever I pull on it the it the tubular like the coating on the outside um, removes itself from the inner part of the root. I'm gonna give these roots a little bit of a trim to see if they're green at all. And sadly, they don't look green at all. They're dry and hollow. This plant looks really good and healthy, but is obviously deceiving. Don't forget, when it comes to root rot, you'd rather over chop than under chop because then you'll be right back where you were. All right, so I think that's all I'm going to be chopping for today. Obviously, there are st still, if I really wanted to get perfectionist mode on, <laughs> on this guy, I would probably have hardly any roots left, but I'm going to go ahead and stop where I'm at. Otherwise, I'd be doing this for like an hour. Um, and nobody has time for that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and pot up the babies now. This guy is just going to be going back into his original pot and I'm going to wrap him up with some dampen sphagnum moss a little bit of soil oh, <laughs> to the bottom and then plop him in there like so and then I'm going to top him off with some more soil I like to add soil um, to my orchid orchids because um, it retains a little bit more moisture instead of just relying on straight up sphagnum moss. Just because I'm not a helicopter plant mom, you know, I'm not constantly watering my plants. I'm not constantly worrying about my plants like I was when I first started off. So. Otherwise, it would be fine in just straight sphagnum moss. And I do have 
some plants that are in just straight sphagnum moss. And this is what he looks like. I know I said I thought I was going to mount him, but obviously I forgot. And now I'm going to do this little baby, um, do the exact same thing. I'm actually gonna take off this lower leaf too so that it's not in the soil. Wrap it in some dampened sphagnum moss. Add a little bit of soil to the bottom. Shove it in the pot. And top it off with a little bit of soil. Oh my gosh, I just made a mess. Ta-da! That's what she looks like. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I really enjoyed potting up these guys and my two orchids. I hope that you guys enjoyed and maybe even learned something a little bit along the way. Um, if you like the video and you like my content, please consider hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. And if you really like my content, please consider subscribing. I do other things other than just plant things these days. <laughs> um, like I said earlier, I was asking if people had seen my ramen video. I do ramen and I haven't done other things yet, but there will be more to come. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.